What's up, YouTube? All right, today I want to show you how to uh, install um, the roof top on the Kawasaki Mule that we have. This is actually our second take of creating this video. I had a much more in-depth video that we created, uh, but had some technical issues. As you can see, we got a new camera. Um, <clears throat> but I wanted to show you step by step, step how to do this. Um, and so I'm going to try to just you know, show you kind of the, the completed install, but give you the tips um, just in case you wanted to install something like this. So here's the view. Here's the view of the mule with the new roof on it. Okay, I actually, uh, I didn't know, you know, how big of a difference it would look, it would make on the look, but it actually looks, I think it looks better uh, with the roof on. So, um, and of course it provides the protection, right, from the rain and stuff like that. Um, but nevertheless, uh, I wanted to show you some, some, some tips on how to make this install, you know, much easier. And, um, you know, this is, this is a pretty much a, just a hard plastic, you know, it, it's sold by Kawasaki. I think it costs like 250, something like that. Um, but I actually purchased it once when I bought the, the side-by-side -side and just figured that I'd put it on, right? Um, wouldn't pay the labor to have it put on, so I figured I'd do it. So I got it, and a few days ago we put it on. And uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna step you through a couple of the tips that'll make your job a lot easier. First off, as always, always read the instructions. But then once you read the instructions for this, for this uh, hard roof, burn the instructions because they're not very good all right so just burn them no big deal um and so once you um you know once you, it's going to come in two pieces right you're going to have this hard top piece here which is the major piece um and then you're going to have this part here that folds up this is the second piece okay i'm going to give you a view of how it looks uh from the from the top here in a minute but here are a few key pieces of information you want to have. First of all, the trickiest part of putting this side, this uh, roof on, is this bar right here, right? If you try to follow the instructions, it's gonna you're gonna pull your hair out. So it's pretty simple, um, you know. Once you once you follow these these instructions, first of all, go to your hardware store. They're gonna give you two um, two screws. One's like my inch and a quarter, uh, inch, I'm sorry, one's like an inch and one's like three quarters of an inch, okay? The longest screws go in here, but you need to go to the hardware store and get an inch and a half, I mean, I'm sorry, inch and a quarter at least, all right? And that will make putting this bar and attaching it here um, that much easier. You will not have a problem if you do it that way, get those screws, okay? And then, what happens is let me go around this side so you can see it a little better you're gonna have two little connections here right where this this bar will just fit into this right you're gonna get two of these one on each side all right um so you know with the longer screws it makes this much easier to get to get through all those things these go on both sides it only goes in one way right so don't worry about you know how it's going to be used but essentially it's a it's used to hold these scrap these straps here and i'll take those off here in a minute um but once you have this attached to this piece the job is going to go much much easier once you have that attached like that um and then you're basically just putting you know one of your dampening washers on the underside and one on the uh, outside along with the washer right just kind of like i have it here i don't have a damper on this one because i you know you, you can't with the inch and a quarter it's still too short so you don't really need it i don't think all right and then you have that side all right and then the other thing about the roof the second thing will be the actual hinges see if i can get a see if i can get a view of that real quick hinges are pretty simple they go right there on the outside you'll have a dampening um piece you'll get four of these 
one there and you have your screws there one on each side you put that hinge on piece of cake um, no issues to put the hinge on and then the other thing you'll get is you'll get four of these okay four of these clamps one two three four okay they actually screw in from the top um, and into the bottom here very simple very simple to do and then if you can notice there's a dampening little square damper that goes right up in between here right just to keep the thing from from rattling show you the outside here step on my seat which I don't want to do part my camera right there that's how you attach it and there's one on the other side there okay you probably couldn't see that very well but <clears throat> um, I think you'll get the point once you get the uh once you get the once you get every all your materials um the other thing is just there's the damper that you'll get with these i got mine on the outside all right because <clears throat> you got a little square piece that you'll that'll go underneath here then you have a damper that'll stick on to your clamp on the outside that's all you need um then you know you put you put it on and you screw these in and you're set then the last part is this attached this rubber attach attachment here essentially that keeps this let me undo it ah, right there just like that all right so this thing just attaches to that piece i was referring to earlier right here all right so it's a little hard at first but that'll go up there and attach to that um, and then you have it on the other side. All right, and that just keeps this thing from flapping. It allows you to open it up. Um, it allows you to open your this piece up so that you can then raise the bed, right? That's pretty much what that's, what that's for. So let me see if I can clamp this back up with one hand. I probably can't. Let's see here. Let's see if I can do it. Can y'all see that? Whoa. Ah, now I almost had it. One more try. One hand. Nope, not strong enough. Okay, so there you have it, guys. Um, like I said, I think uh, it looks it looks good with the uh, with the roof on. Okay, I think it looks good. We took a ride yesterday in it, and it was pretty pretty comfortable. Very comfortable with the roof on. My kids actually rode, I don't know, all day, seemed like yesterday. Um, I also put these, put these speakers on here. These little speakers here. I don't know if you can see that. The view may not be that good. Um, I put those speakers on. They're, they're wireless, you know, Bluetooth enabled. You know, connect them to my phone. Got my own little surround sound in the, in the, uh, in the cab. So there you have it. Hopefully this helps. Um, if you decide to get one of these Kawasaki Mule plastic hard tops, um, when I got mine again, I searched YouTube for you know how to do it because I was reading the instructions. I'm like, this is whack. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who can who can follow this. They weren't very good at all. So I figured I'd make a video to give you a couple tips that'll make that job easier. So hopefully this helps. All right. Hopefully you like the video and you learned something. Take care. Talk to you soon.